Hey YouTube, Sergeant Savinelli, smoking my Savinelli saxophone, one of many. Still smoking some GLP's Abington, bowl number three for the day. I'll tell you, this stuff is fantastic, it really is. If you haven't tried any of the GLP's line, please do. Uh, they do a really good job with this stuff. Uh, there are a lot of Kia blends are fantastic. I, I find them fantastic. Uh, the GLP's Abingdon, GLP's Odyssey, uh, and the GLP's Charing Cross. Very, very good. If you like of Kia, you'll love this stuff. It's really, really delicious. No tongue bite, easy to load, easy to light, stays lit pretty well. Um, very, very seldomly do you need a relight. So, yesterday, my wife and I got a visitor from one of our friendly neighborhood critters, of which we have a lot of. Beautiful male bobcat came cruising down the hill behind the deck, and she spotted it first. Of course, She's in the kitchen puttering around over by the sink, and then all of a sudden I hear, Honey, there's a coyote in the backyard! So I go running over to the slider. I look out, and I said, Honey, that's no coyote. That's a bobcat. Sure enough, big male. About two foot tall. Maybe close to three feet long. And 30 to 40 pounds. Uh, I took some pictures and I posted a video yesterday. It was my He was actually my thought of the day yesterday. Beautiful cat, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we've got uh, we've got a few of them to hang around up here, and uh, we're fortunate enough to see them from time to time. Not too often because they are very elusive. You know, they they try to stay out of the human contact zone uh, as much as they can. But uh, I think that the the two or three that we have that pop through on a regular basis. I think they're used to us to the point where, eh, so what? You know, and they, and they come through. Um, most of the time we see them like at dusk, but uh, a couple of times, yesterday being one of them, you know, we, had, we, we were lucky enough to see them during the day. Uh, we got all kinds of friends here. We got uh, bear, you know, we got black bear that, that trapes through the yard. Um, only caught a glimpse of one once. Haven't been lucky enough to get them on camera. But uh, we, uh, we find scat and paw prints. Think about that size. Good size critters. We've got mountain lions in the area. We've, we, haven't seen, we haven't seen any of them um, in the yard. I know they're here. Uh, we've had people in the neighborhood that have seen them. Uh, one one person, not too far from from us, had uh, had one on the back deck one time, and actually got film and posted the picture in one of the local newspapers. It was pretty cool. Beautiful cat, big, big. So as soon as I took the picture, the first picture, now I'm running from window to window in the house trying to keep track of it so that I could get a good shot of, you know, or get a good video of it. Um, and I was able to do that. As soon as that was all said and done and he decided to take off into the woods to do whatever it is Bobcats do, I sent Matches 860, my good friend John, a picture of the Bobcat, which he promptly posted on Facebook, which was great. Um, so John said I made his day with that picture. Good, buddy. I actually, once again, missed your live feed last night, of course. I work midnights, so when John's on live, even though I mentally try to remind myself, he usually pops on during that slumber period when I'm trying to catch my three to four hours of sleep before I get to actually go back and start all over again. So... I missed it again. I caught it on rerun, though, buddy. Good video. 
Very good video. And I see you didn't have as much problem with your internet as you did the last the last time you did one at the house. Um, little, you know, little dits and dats of hesitation and stuff here and there. But overall, it it ran the whole the whole time without you know without any issues. So nice job there. Glad that uh, I could at least catch it on rerun. I will one of these days catch it live again though. I like to get in there and have some live back and forth with some of the people that, that watch, some of our our YouTube community uh, brethren. It's always nice to, to participate. So anyway, I just thought I'd get out here and, I don't know, chatter about nothing. It's a great day. I got the house to myself, me and my singing freezer, and uh, my third bowl of Abingdon. Um, I think I'm going to be lot of key it out by the time I'm done with this bowl, though. I think that's going to finish it for today as far as Latakia goes. It is about 32 degrees outside. I do have to say the sun's out, and that sun feels beautiful on my face. And the melt is underway. Hard to believe that two days ago we had a foot of snow. Uh, today... We've got maybe three inches left on the ground. Um, anywhere where pavement got scraped open is dry as a bone. So that's a good sign. I think that means that spring is finally on its way. Boy, I hope so. Nobody more than me. Uh, we did survive the, uh, the deluge. The apocalypse, the snow, the the snow apocalypse, as one of you has called it. I forget who said it, but it, that was pretty. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, snow blowing was three and a half, yeah, three and a half hours uh, to get this whole place done nice. And then later on that day, the sun started shining a little bit, and you already started seeing water running. So, I I, I think that means we're near the end, folks. I think that means that even if Mother Nature says, here, have some more, it won't last long, you know, as the temperatures start to climb and the, warm, the, the ground warms up a little bit. I think we're, we're well on our way. I think we'll do okay. So, made it through another New England winter. Been doing it my whole life. It is what it is. Anyhow, cheers to all of you. Good to get out here and share a little bit of time with you, even if it is just over uh, the video there. Um, it's it's the thought and and the feeling behind it that uh, that I, that I think is important. All right, so here's to all of you. I wish for you what I wish for myself, and uh, I thank you so very very much for watching me and joining me. Uh, it makes this time all worthwhile. And if none of you watched, then I'd basically be talking to myself, and at some point they would have to come and take me away. So, thank you for that anyway. I don't think I would survive well in that environment. So, once again, thanks for watching, thanks for joining me, and I hope your weekend is a great one, and we'll see you on the next one.